welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of one of my new handbags. I'm going to be reviewing my Celine box bag. I'm still stunned that I own this bag. Let's just get into the review. I purchased this bag from Fashion File, I think early December. And it's been on my wish list for years. Years, years, years. One, it is quite pricey. Two, because I was looking for this particular color with silver hardware. Also, I wanted it to be an old Celine, which means it's from the time that uh, Phoebe Philo was the creative director at Celine. So I had my particulars that I was looking for when purchasing this bag. So because I was looking for an old Celine, I knew I was looking for it on the pre-love market. A bag like this that was super popular, um, especially in this color, I knew I was going to have to search the pre-love market for it, and I had been searching everywhere from Rebag to Poshmark and Fashion File, pretty much where, where I was hunting for this bag. Finally, two became available around the same time on Fashion File, and I was like, mulling over which one to go with um it does have like one scratch right here on the front that i like see all the time you guys can't can you see it can't see right either way i'm very happy with it this is exactly what i was looking for and it was at a price point that i was comfortable in with paying this bag came with the original dust bag also came with the celine original tags so this bag was purchased originally at Nordstrom and it's the color Storm and this is just the care card but this doesn't tell me the year. I think this bag is from 2014 if I'm not mistaken that's when this color came out with the silver hardware and give you some kind of like a tour of the bag. And some similar bags in similar condition, probably from Fashion File, listed down below if you're interested. Why did I love the Celine box bag? This is the Celine Smooth Calfskin Medium Classic Box Bag in the color store. I'll put all that down below as well because that is a lot. This bag comes in different finishes. So there is the Liege finish, which is like the grooved leather. And then there's the smooth leather. I wanted the, the smooth leather adds that classic look of the bag um, and also gives it a sheen that's so beautiful. The Liege bag is the one with the grooves, so it has that texture on it, which is really going to be great as far as durability because it's going to pretty much be scratch resistant. I wanted this one. Let's do a little back tour. So it has the one shoulder strap. When I wear it shoulder length, it hits me like right at the waist, which is like the perfect look it's that perfect granny like bag honestly <laughs> that's the vibe that i get from it which i absolutely adore that is the purpose of this bag it's to have that classic forever feel and i think the strap length is perfection so the front of the bag the uh, kind of simple class there's absolutely no branding on the outside of this bag does not say celine anywhere even on the class on the outside there's no branding which I absolutely love. It's very, very much understated. So um, to open the bag, you just push this clasp up and then it's an open flap. Really the first branding that you'll see on the bag. And there it says Celine Paris. If you know it has the accent over the E, um, that is indicating it's an old Celine. Celine currently produces their products with no accent over that E, so that's something I just was particular about. So when you open the bag, it ha it's like an accordion uh, style so you have this first compartment here it's as you see it opens up pretty wide you can't really stuff the bag because the leather is so structured but it fits surprisingly a nice amount of things so it has these two kind of slip pockets in the front the phones don't fit in those anymore so um, if I have like mints or something or if I have um, like my little hand sanitizer or hand cream I'll put in that pocket for easy access and so that it doesn't like move around in my bag. Put maybe the, my phone in this first compartment here. Then this middle compartment is pretty much the main compartment. It's the widest uh, compartment, open up to the widest. So here I would put my keys, my wallet, um, 
you know my phone kind of interchanges it ends up everywhere like a powder compact a lipstick that sort of thing there it says made in Italy in the back and it's like embossed in the leather then we have this zip compartment and I just have some coins down there and then it's just like a zip compartment that goes the full length of the bag so um if you're traveling that would be like passport important documents back there flat compartments you can't really stuff it but you know if you have tickets or like I said any important documents I would put it back there I don't usually use that compartment for day-to-day -day things so also does say Celine here on this metal bar I can't really see it um, on camera that again is behind the clasp so you don't see it at all when the bag is closed at times I do leave the bag open and just flip it up depending on what I'm doing where I'm at I won't like properly close it I'll just leave it open if I'm driving in the car most likely and I'm in and out of my bag for whatever reason I'm not closing it I'm having it closed when I'm like on the go walking moving around but if I'm you know in the middle of doing stuff or I'm sitting let's say at a restaurant where I want easy access to my bag I definitely will just leave it open like that because the leather is this particular bag is so structured it doesn't like flop just having it like that is secure enough I said if you're uh, stationary oh I do do that although the clasp is super easy it's not like complicated to open but because this bag is fully leather inside outside so this bag is fully leather um, it is a little weight to it and when it's empty it's not heavy at all but as you put your items in it you really notice the weight although I absolutely love love the leather finish it is so I like scratch it up so easily I was out at a restaurant in New York City I wore this bag I opened my bag it wasn't even like I did anything I think I opened it and reached in or something grazed the bag and scratched the bag and I think I scratched it like three times that day but it just made me realize I have to be super delicate with this bag this bag is more delicate than my Chanel mini rectangular flap I feel like because of the shine of it and how smooth it is you can't see there's lots of like tiny hairline scratches on it two cons of the bag is the weight of the bag and then because of the leather finish it's definitely scratches easily if this is a bag that you're looking to purchase as like your everyday bag or like the one bag you have I would definitely recommend checking it out in the other leather finishes now that I realize how easily it scratches I'm being super delicate with this bag and I find that I wear it less and less because of that if I go someplace where I feel like it may be crowded anything I just don't want to take it out because I feel like it'll scratch it so I'm very particular like where I wear this bag now which is unfortunate because the next thing I was gonna say was I love the versatility of this bag it looks so simple also so classic that you wonder how would you style this bag and I find I can style it with anything I literally did a um, IG reel and I did a short here on YouTube where I styled this bag. I was wearing a coat I was styling a coat really but I was wearing this bag in that and I'm wearing like a teddy coat with sweatpants and it worked like you can literally wear this bag with denim dresses much as you want to dress it up you can dress it up and as much as you want to dress it down you can dress it down and it just works mini flap is my only other bag I can say works just as well with almost anything one of those forever pieces for me it's been a holy grail handbag on my wish list for years this bag retails for quite a bit but when you compare it as I've been doing to Chanel prices for all leather classic bag this is a fraction of the price of those Chanel bags but as far as quality a design longevity as far as it being a classic style I really really do love it 
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. I talk about fashion, lifestyle, travel, and sometimes beauty. Also, don't forget to hit that bell so you can turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload from me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section below. And until next time, guys.